hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in thank you for those who have subscribed if you haven't subscribed do the right thing and subscribe um today i'm going to be talking about my birth story so i'm gonna um look at my notebook uh so don't be alarmed by that um and yeah thank you so much for those who have been following my pregnancy content uh you know the after birth content or postpartum content i really appreciate it and thank you so much for the well wishes um so yeah so as i've said on my instagram if you don't follow me go and follow me i'm going to be shooting one video a week now because you know it's busy and hectic um so yeah please make sure you subscribe um you know click on the notification bell so you don't miss the one video per week um and yeah without wasting your time let's get straight into this video first i'm going to do a summary of my birth how it happened and in the end i'm going to answer some questions just to uh make it more personable if that's a word um yeah so just make sure you tune in for that okay so summary of my birth okay so first i started getting contractions at 5 a.m in the morning and i started timing those contractions at 9 a.m um they were 7 to 12 minutes apart at the time um and then around lunchtime, me and my husband went for a walk um and then came back they were getting a little bit stronger um then we waited for my daughter to get off kindergarten because she gets off at around four um so she came around four and then we asked a friend of us to take her somewhere else where she was gonna sleep over so that we can head to the hospital so we left uh just after half past four to the hospital we got to the hospital around 5 34 um and it was at that time the contractions were coming regularly really regular um and then um they came by to the room you know and stuff like that checked me did the first cervical check and i was five centimeter that was around 5 58 okay so at this point i had stopped timing the contractions on my phone i just listened to my doula followed what she was saying the technique she helped me to you know deal with the 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 wave of the contractions okay so around 6 10 um they came and inserted an iv on my hand um and then they also um put the baby monitor thingy to check like how the baby's heart is doing they check that and then after like maybe 30 minutes um the nurse said okay the baby's heart is like not beating properly like the rhythm is off so they asked me i need to eat that's one thing or i should get an oxygen uh going and then i decided to take an oxygen then my husband said no it's okay i'll go buy you food you know um at some point okay because at that point he'd been filling some forms and things like that so he'd been really busy um <clears throat> so around 7 28 i had some bloody show okay and i felt like things were getting a little bit more hectic at this point that's when my husband left uh he was gonna go get us food but i could still you know breathe and I just think I had a really good doula who was helping me through the pain. It was painful, but still not to a point where, like, I was like, okay, you know. Uh, so at around seven uh, thirty-five, around that time, I went to take a shower because my doula suggested, like, don't you want to take a shower? Okay, went and took a shower, and my husband had gone at this point to buy us food. Okay, um, and. Just after my bloody show, things really escalated, okay? Things escalated. I came back to the bed um, and I think my water broke. And when my water broke, everything like 
<laughs> was a blur after that okay i could feel like the nurse you know everybody was like obviously they speak chinese and everything and it was really at this point i think this is the only moment i i said to my doula like oh my gosh i think i need a painkiller right now but this is the moment where like the baby was about to come the pressure i felt so much pressure the head was like really, literally there so that's when i asked for the pain but she kept focusing me on the breathing techniques and things like that so it was not so you know bad <laughs> she just ignored me basically because she knew i didn't want to take the epidural this time around and she just focused me on the breathing like focus on the breathing focus on the breathing because you know my according to my birth plan epidural you know it just <sighs> bad experience from you know the past so i didn't want that this time around i just wanted to try and do everything without any medical intervention just do it natural okay that was my biggest desire okay and then at around at 20 37 okay after i felt so much pressure and then i felt the head was coming out honestly the most painful thing was the head coming out really like that was like the most painful thing but contractions like i could handle those um so yeah my baby came was born at 8 37 uh, and if you've missed previous videos, her name is Anaya. So Anaya meaning uh, God gave us this child because if you've been following me from the pregnancy videos, um, you know, like it was a surprise and all that. So yeah, God gave us this child and we're really blessed to have her and we're grateful. So yeah, so that's the summary of the birth. Okay, so now I'm going to answer some questions um, about the birth experience, okay, all together. So first is pregnancy, you know, what did I do to prepare for labor, birth and postpartum and what did I learn about myself, you know, um, and I would say I didn't really do much preparation for postpartum, but labor, birth. I prepared so much like I watched videos for men like to prepare myself mentally and physically I was doing some squats I drank raspberry tea um, okra water I did perennial massages I did pretty much everything under the Sun to make sure that I would have a really good experience for my birth also I wanted to make sure I don't go for a cesarean uh, uh for cesarean what section c-section i think that's what they call c-section i didn't want to go for a c-section again i was aiming for a v-back so i made sure that i do everything in my power to reach that goal that i had and thank god you know i was successful in that okay so i think i was a little bit more shocked by postpartum uh, because i didn't really prepare for that because it's a different kind of you know experience compared to c-section before my postpartum after c-section was horrific really it was as horrific as the birth but the postpartum this time was a little bit different and i i didn't really know what to expect i didn't focus much on that so that's the only thing that i was a little bit off by and then early labor once i was in labor now uh where was i and what was i doing when labor started and how i felt so as i said labor started in the morning i was at home and luckily my husband was off on this day because you know we're living abroad and you go to work and it's very hard to like you know have somebody to you know help you and stuff like that you know there's just a lot of technicalities when it comes to living abroad without your family you don't know what you're gonna do will you will i be by myself or not stuff like that you know but luckily my husband was at home and we had people to help us also with our daughter amari um so yeah and when 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 the contraction started i was honestly really happy um i just was excited that i was like wow i'm experiencing labor this is such a great experience i was happy i, I throughout my contractions i really welcomed them i embraced them i accepted them and i felt like okay my baby is coming 
I never thought that I would be able to feel, like really feel what it's like to um, experience contractions. They are literally like waves. Um, they last one minute. I'm in labor, okay? I never thought I would be able to say that. <laughs> Such a good feeling. I don't know. But it's a good feeling to just experience that because last time I was um, induced, labor didn't come naturally on its own. Um, and I was, you know, obviously pumped up with like fake ox oxytocin and i got an epidural so never really like experienced you know the real thing how the body works and it's just amazing miraculous like it's amazing it's painful <laughs> but it's amazing to feel really it is oh my gosh i'm in labor <laughs> wow I just you know my mentality towards the whole thing was really really positive uh, and I'm really grateful for you know the preparation that I did okay so active labor how contractions felt wave okay it's a wave it's, it was not like a period pain for me it was like a wave it goes up comes down gives you a break for the entire time really from the beginning to the end the only difference is that towards the end like there's no break so they come like consistently when the baby is about to come they come like you know back to back so it's very hard to to manage that if you are not prepared mentally you know for that and embrace them and accept them and just realize that okay it's it's you know it's closer my baby's coming you know and things like that you know just the brain like you have to manipulate your brain to believing that um this is this is you know this is just temporary and it is as soon as you give birth like that's it really that's it <laughs> everything shuts down like it, it was never you know that hectic you know so yeah um and uh, it says how I felt supported by my nurses, doctors, doulas, and partner. My husband was really supportive. Um, my doula, oh my gosh, I owe everything to my doula. Honestly, it was such a great decision for me to hire a doula. And uh, nurses, they were quite nice, even though they don't speak English, but my doula spoke English. So it made things so, so easy for us and it was just great really i just had a really really great experience and my daughter my doctor spoke english also i made sure that i found a great doctor a great hospital like everything you know was just worked out really it worked out okay and then when it came to pushing and delivery how did uh, my birth team encourage me during this moment um so this is the time i had my when it was time for pushing and delivery is the time I had my second second cervical check so in total I only had two cervical checks and it was already um, really I was about to give birth when they checked me because that's when they called the doctor and it was like think anything is about to happen at this point really so the doctor should come and when the doctor arrived that's when my husband also arrived from going shopping because earlier i said he went to buy food so he nearly missed the birth really <laughs> who does that like who does that <laughs> imagine he was there the whole time but everything happened really quickly if you check the times really everything happened so quickly and yeah if he had decided to go somewhere else to look for food somewhere else he would have missed the whole thing really <laughs> but it is what it is <laughs> so yeah so when they did my second cervical check i was eight centimeter but it was like 10 8 10 8 that's what my doula told me so that that's when the nurse was like mm, i'm i'm a little bit you know uh i led by this situation let me just call the doctor because it was like eight i was going eight centimeter and then 10 then go back to eight so it was kind of like that uh, transition was a little bit confusing that's when they called it off but they could tell 
you know because it was at this point i think i was really trying so hard to breathe but i was like feeling the pressure like actually i was pushing the baby like <laughs> like pushing the baby out okay because it was so heck i just wanted the the head out once the head was out the baby just like slipped out really so the head was like the most difficult part of the bed <laughs> tmi sorry for that anyway so after giving birth i got everything i wanted in terms of my birth plan um i had skin to skin i had delayed uh cord clamping it was exactly the way i wanted honestly my baby was you know so cute and he was crying and everything was okay immediately after i gave birth everything was good um yeah i just i i couldn't look at her at that point i was just crying emotional like oh my gosh i did it i got my v bag so i didn't look at her immediately i was just like relieved and the pain was gone also you know and i was just taking in the moment like oh my gosh where did i get that strength from like i was so proud of myself and yeah it was like i did it kind of moment so yeah once i had time to like okay breathe and realize what just happened i got to look at my baby and it was so special honestly it was such a great experience if you guys want to see the birth vlog go to my birth vlog and watch it because you might have missed it um and um please do comment down below and tell me how was your birth experience was it positive you know i've also had a negative birth experience with my daughter before if you've had i really believe that you can be able to have such a beautiful birth experience whether it's natural or or, or c-section but it's really possible to have a wonderful birth experience you know you do everything that you can and you leave the rest to god and i just believe that you know our bodies are very much capable so that's my cue my baby's crying thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs> i hope and pray and plead with god that this is my last appointment because i cannot do it i'm too tired i even try to look cute for my last appointment